the space. <clears throat> you recording? Okay. The space goes down, down, baby, down, down. The roller coaster street, sweet baby, sweet, sweet. Don't let me go. Shimmy, shimmy, cocoa pop. Shimmy, shimmy, back. Shimmy, shimmy, cocoa pop. Shimmy, shimmy, back. I met a girlfriend, a trisket. She said a trisket, a biscuit, ice cream, soda pop, vanilla on the top. Ooh, Shalita, walking down the street, ten times a week. I met it, I said it, I saw my mama's credit. I'm cool, I'm hot. Suck you in the stomach three more times. <laughs> I've always been really talented when it comes to creating puns or clever wordplay spontaneously. It's just something that comes naturally to me. Growing up, I caught a lot of flack for it. Didn't really have too many friends because everyone thought I took it too far. They would call it obnoxious and immature, but I couldn't help it. Punchlines were part of my vocabulary. From the tender age of six, I've been writing down all these puns in a notebook. I've even made a few t-shirts. Then about four years ago, I got the opportunity of a lifetime. My roommate was working as a custodian at Hallmark, and he wore one of my pun shirts to work one day. Basically, it was a shark wearing Darth Vader's helmet, and I called it Shark Vader. And wouldn't you know, it grabbed the eye of the creative director. So long story short, that shirt got me a job, pretty instantly. And for the past four years, I've kind of been the heart and soul of the company, basically responsible for every pun-related greeting card they put out. So now I'm getting paid good money for something that used to get me teased relentlessly. So yeah, kind of like the ultimate success story. I've always had a fascination with celebrities, specifically taking photos with them. Just them and me. There's something very special about sharing this unique, everlasting moment with someone who's admired by millions. I probably dedicate six to seven hours a day seeking out celebrities, and I'll do whatever it takes to. Because even though sharing these moments with these celebrities is very special and all that, it'll rarely be anything more than just a stage photograph, and I realize this. They're obligated to take five seconds out of their lives to put on a smile with a fan. The only time I felt a strong connection was with the man, the myth, the force to my gum. First name Tom, last name Hanks. It was three years ago, early May 2010, and I was at a Dodgers game. They were playing Philadelphia. And Tom Hanks was there. They had shown him on that big jumbotron, practically spit my damn hot dog out. See, for as long as I can remember, I've had this special bond to him. My childhood, as nice as it was, was a lonely one. I grew up in the burbs of Seattle and would have sleepless nights watching movies by myself. It was my only form of entertainment, as I had no siblings or friends. My favorite movie was Big. It was this great story about friendship and never growing up. And in the movie, Tom had his best friend, Billy. And they were so tight, through thick and thin, you know? They had this little rap they used to do. People would call it the Big Rap. They used it as a sign of affection for one another. I just remember watching this movie over and over and over and over and wanting so bad to have a friendship like those two had. To have a friend I could do the big rap with. I went to get a hot dog during the seventh inning stretch and I hear an extremely loud and incredibly close voice trying to get my attention. Of course I recognized the voice. It was Tom. He said he liked the shirt I was wearing and asked if he could snap a photo with me. It was this real campy thing I designed. It had this dopey looking cat riding a rocket ship with the words Space Cat Dead printed across it. I was in a complete state of disbelief. After his wife Rita snapped the photo, I whipped out my disposable. Rita volunteered to take the picture. This gave me time to build up my courage and we began talking. Like having an actual conversation. And the best part was, he was interested. At this point, I was like, well shit, this is my chance. My childhood dream come true. I'm standing here with Tom Hanks and he's talking to me. I could actually do the big rap with him. Just like the fucking movie. I could be Billy. I could be his best friend. What a lucky guy I was, right? But I just froze up like a chump. I stood there in a state of shock. Then before I knew it, Tom was sworn by the paparazzi and cast away. I lost my chance. Those were the best three minutes of my life, and they all ended so anticlimactically. After that moment, I put all my effort into getting back in touch with Tom. It's the only thing I could focus on. My greeting card suffered from it, too. But I needed to talk to him, to do the big rap with him. And soon enough, all the time I normally spend seeking out celebrities was put into writing Tom letters, trying to get onto his sets, finding direct contact numbers, things like that, but no luck. And that's why I created Hanksy. My roommate told me street art was a money pit. These kids go out, spray paint a wall, and get notoriety overnight. That's it. Well, shit, I thought. I got a brush. I got paint. How hard could it be? I figured I was creative enough to get the same amount of attention as a Shepherd Fairy or even a Banksy knock. Might as well give it a shot. So that's where I'm at today. I don't do the street art thing for the money. I don't do it for the success. I sure as hell don't do it for the love of the craft. I'm only doing this because I have no other choice. 
I know that if I make a big enough splash, Tom will reach out to me and I will get that second chance. That second chance to fill that childhood hole. That big, big hole. I'm not the type to end things anticlimactically. But I'm sure as hell not letting this go. Not with my hero. I will be his Billy. I will be his bosom buddy. Just a two-man band of brothers, a league of our own. Tom, listen Tom, if you're watching this, please, reach out to me. New York, LA, the moon, name a place I'll be there. Let's make this work, Tom. Down the street.